What's up guys, Robbie Fossil, it's back, good to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day, miss you guys, love you guys. Hope you guys are doing well and less today. Let's talk about how many hertz you need for a gaming PC. So, let's see here, um, what you need. So if you want a basic gaming computer, I mean not, but not basic gaming computer. If you want a basic cam, I mean camcorder. If you want a basic um, monitor, just a basic um, a starter um, monitor for ga gaming, for a basic gaming computer. If you just want to start off with the basics, get a 60 hertz gaming refresh rate monitor. I mean it doesn't cost a lot of money. It costs like 250 or 100 dollars. I mean, it's very affordable, but if you want something a little bit more advanced, like the standard of all gaming monitors, like 144Hz 1080p G-Sync FreeSync 1 millisecond, like this one right here, this model, get this. This is this is a this is a really nice monitor. It does the trick. It does it does the job. It's it's really nice. It's really beautiful. Now, if you now if I were you. You guys should get a 4K 60 frames per second gaming monitor. I mean, you know, the fresh rate is not going to be that good, but the display is going to be beautiful. So try to get a good display with it, like a TN, not a TN panel, but like uh, other displays. I don't know much about displays, but they look better than TN panels. So try to get that. So anyway, so how much frames do you need in a gaming monitor? So the standard is 60. You shouldn't go any lower than a 60. Every mon gaming monitor nowadays goes up to standard 60. That's the basic standard. Now, if, now the second basic standard is 140, 70 hertz or 100. So that's the second. If you want a high-end one, like 144 hertz, that's really good. You should get that. But yeah, that's up to you. If you want to refresh it that high, so the game is going to run fast, really fast on your screen. I don't know if your eyes can keep up with it. So. Try to get a 60 or 170 hertz display refresh rate monitor for starters. If we're starting out on a gaming, basic gaming computer. Now, if I were you, after you do that, upgrade to a 144 hertz gaming monitor and get a 1080p one, and then later draw back to 60 hertz and 4K or 8K, and get a it's another 60 or 4K or 8K gaming monitors side by side with each other it's gonna look beautiful on your display now if I were you um if you want a 250 or 300 hertz gaming monitors those are like a really expensive that's up to you if you want to ball out that hard those are up to you so at Best Buy there's so many gaming monitors you have available you can get those gaming monitors if you want you can find those at your local dealership I mean dealers uh, there's one for 279 349 There's various brands you can get. Like right here as you can see. Right here. As you can see. Right here, right here, right here, right here. So how much mon how much um, frames do you need? All you need is 60. But you, ju you can upgrade to 144 if you want. That's up to you. That's a high-end one. Like mine says. But start off at 60 if you want to fresh. If you want to start off fresh as a gaming gaming PC setup, and move on to something advanced later. Don't start off as advanced right away. Start from small beginnings, like everyone did as a gamer on a PC. That's what I did as well. All right, let's see right here. There's some game deals on Amazon. There's some deals on Amazon you can get. It's up to you actually, if you want to get this. It's up to you. So anyway, that's what I have to say about it. The standard is 60. Start off small, then work your way up to something big. Don't go. Don't try to overrush it. Don't try to overrush it. And try, don't try to go something large. It's so quick. Just move, move smoothly and go something somewhere. Go somewhere something big, big not too quick, but slowly. Just slowly develop into it. So, if you, so first, first get a cheap gaming gaming PC monitor for 500, 
then move up to 700 and then go up to a thousand and then after that you'll be all set move up to 5,000 because you're going to be set after that because don't don't try to overspend too much money on things that you can't afford right away so yeah that's what I have to say about it so you need a 60 but if you want a 144 hertz game monitor slowly go up to it don't try to buy it really quick so the average is 60 uh, so that's up to you if you want to if you want to get a if you want to get a 144 hertz gaming monitor right away that's up to you I'm not gonna force you to get a 60 but just take my advice for it all right I'm a, I've been a gamer for about 28 years so I should know the tricks and rules about gaming so anyway that's all I have to say all that's all you need 60 uh, love you guys stay safe have a good day Miss, uh, take care. Have a good day. I'll see you later in my next video. And um, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos of my channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more gaming videos and infos and inspirational videos about video games. And stay tuned for my live stream tonight. And um, yeah, so have a good day, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a like, comment, and sub. And I'll see you later in my next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Robbie Falls is signing out. Take care. Have a good day. Enjoy your Tuesday.